Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit, and I'm joined now by Professor Batstone from Monash University, which is in Melbourne, of course. So thank you for being here. Tell me, what's the role of an um, international forum like this one that you've come to to talk about AI? Well, thanks for the opportunity to join you today. At Monash University, we're actually a very international university. We're based in Melbourne, but we have campuses across Southeast Asia and also a campus here in Europe. And for us, a forum like this, an international conference, gives us the opportunity to connect with a global network of like-minded people who are also interested in developing AI solutions. So it's a very important way for us to tell our story about the work that we have going on at Monash, but also more importantly, to make connections, to build new partnerships, to explore new collaboration opportunities, and to interact with this global audience. So it's a very great networking opportunity and also a way for us really to look at new ways that we can collaborate in the future around new technology. So give me some concrete examples of social good through AI. So one of the areas of investment for us is looking at opportunities to use artificial intelligence to improve health sciences and health outcomes. And so we have a large program of work in partnership with our faculties of medicine, nursing and health sciences, as well as with our pharmacy team, looking at applications of AI for drug discovery, looking at applications of AI in the context of healthy aging, applications of artificial intelligence in the context of looking at new ways to treat patients, um, and particularly using AI to look at opportunities for cl uh, clinical decision support systems supporting the cl clinician in practice. So health sciences is one big area for us. Um, another example of opportunities for uh, AI for social good relates to the broader sphere of climate change and the impact of climate on global public health, uh, but also the impact of climate on threatened ecosystems. So another of the programs of work we have underway is looking at ecosystems and biodiversity within ecosystems that is significantly impacted by climate-related events, bushfires, floods, and other natural disasters. Of course, all this technology in a safe and ethical way for humanity is essential. I'm sure you have thoughts on that. Yes, yeah, so uh, in order to be able to bring new solutions to market, you have to think about, well, who's building these solutions? And so one of the ways that we need to think about safe and fair and ethical AI is also to ensure that the community of practitioners and developers um, is really representative of the community that we're trying to serve and support and, and sell into. And so a big focus for us is also looking at the diversity of the workforce for AI. Uh, do we have a diverse workforce? And certainly as we think about the diversity of men versus women in the workforce, women are significantly underrepresented. So we're very focused on how do we improve that diversity representation in the workforce. But it goes beyond the workforce. It also comes back to how are we thinking about ethical approaches from a development perspective. And so ethical frameworks, many governments around the world are now releasing best practices and guidelines from an ethics framework perspective for artificial intelligence. I think that's really critical for us to think through the appropriate ways for us to develop in a fair manner, transparent, accessible, um, and to be able to explain that artificial intelligence, it's not magic. We've got to be able to open up that black box and really think about that openness and transparency of the solutions that we're trying to build. What role can academics like yourself and research centers like yours do in AI? At Monash, we've got over 500 researchers that have joined our Monash Data Futures Institute who have an interest in all aspects of artificial intelligence. And so a big focus for us is making sure that we're not just talking to the technologists that we're bringing in the world of arts and humanities, the social sciences, the business school, the law school, to look at all aspects of how new technology can be influential on society. And so from a university perspective, we're very focused on how do we bring that interdisciplinary research together, uh, but really to look at, it's a new technology. 
even though artificial intelligence has been around since the 1950s, this is the year where everyone is talking about artificial intelligence. How do we then bring that conversation into for societal impact, for societal good? And that means we've really got to be able to integrate across all of those disciplines and not just the traditional STEM disciplines of technology and programming and computer science, but really to open it up to a societal impact and get that social sciences point of view across as well. Okay, interesting. Professor Bastone, thanks so much for your time. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. And we have much more coming up on AI for Goods Global Summit right here.